In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a storybook on Canva, just like this one. And the best part is with just a few clicks, only using ChatGPT and Canva to create it. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to create our storybook is a script for our story. And for that, we have to go to ChatGPT and we are going to insert a prompt. So I'm just gonna add this very simple prompt and I'm just gonna let ChatGPT make my story. Now, as you can see here, ChatGPT already created our story. So the only thing that we have to do now is we have to copy this story. And now we have to paste it in a Google Sheets format. I'm using Google Sheets, but it can also be Excel. So I'm just going to be pasting on here. I'm just going to go and then paste it. And on here, we have to make sure we don't leave any space between the lines. So I'm just going to be deleting all of these spaces. So delete. And I'm going to be deleting this one also. Once that it's ready, we need to download it as a CSV. And for that, we're just going to go to Archive. And then on here, we're just going to go in Download. Here you can see we have so many options. We're just going to keep it as CSV. And you're going to download as a CSV. And here we have it. Once the script is ready, we can proceed to Canva to choose the design for our book. And for that, we have to go to the Canva homepage. And on here, we have to search for Storybook. So I'm just going to type Storybook. And as you can see, it's giving us the option on here. So I'm just going to click on it. And in here, we have two options. We can choose a template or we can create our from scratch. For today's example, I'm going to be creating mine from scratch. So I'm just going to click on create a blank storybook. Here you can be very creative and start to design your storybook. So for this, I'm going to start by choosing the background of my storybook. So I'm just going to go and maybe choose a color from here. So maybe something like, like this. And also we can add some elements that are related to our story. So it's a turtle. So I'm just going to look for turtle. And we can go to graphics and start to look for what we like. So I like this one. It's a very cute one. And on here, it's very important that we also add our frames. So for that, we're just going to search for frames on here. And then you just click on here. And then you can see it's frames. And there we go. We can start to look for the frame that we would like to add. So I'm just going to be adding this one. Maybe on here, maybe here, maybe here, something like this, something like this on here. And then this one, I like it, but I would like to make it a bit uh, more transparent. So I can put on here also my text. And to add the text, we just have to go to the text section and then I'm just going to add a subtitle. And on here, I like the font, but I would like to make it a bit more kids friendly. So I'm just going to search for here. If you can see, we have a corporate display paragraph. So on here, we can start to look for some examples to make it more kids friendly. So maybe something like this I would like. So on here, it's going to give you more options like the one that I choose. And I like this one, so I'm just going to keep it like this one. And there we go. This is the basic design for our storybook. Now what we have to do is we have to add the pages that we already decide in the Excel sheet. And for that, we're just going to go all the way down and we're going to click in bull create. And here we have to select the upload CSV. Once that we are there, we're just going to choose our story in the CSV format. So I'm just going to click on my story. There we go. And then we're just going to open it. Once that we upload our story, what we have to do is we have to select the text that we want to connect our story to. So I'm just going to select this one. I'm going to click in the three dots. So on here you can see it says connect data. So I'm just going to click on it. And then on here we have to choose which data we want to connect. So, and once it is connect, we're just going to click in continue. And here it's giving us all the sections that we select when we were in the Google Sheets. So I'm just going to start to select starting from the second one till the 10. 
So you're going to go in, you can click in generate nine designs. So you just click on it. And here, as you can see, it's already designing all the parts of our text. So we don't have to write one by one. So here, this is the title. So I'm just going to delete this one. And I'm just going to leave it like here. This is going to be our cover page. So now, once that it's done, we just have to adjust the text and start to play with the designing of our storybook. So I'm done already with all the designing of each of my pages. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Canva AI to create images that are related with the storybook. And for that, we're just going to go to the apps. We're just going to search for magic media on here. And we're just going to click on this one, the first one, magic media. On here, I'm just going to type the prompt to generate images that are related to my storybook. So I'm going to grab it from, from here, a peaceful bond. I'm just going to copy that and I'm just going to paste it on here. And we're just going to click on generate image. And we're just going to wait. And there we go. I'm just going to be adding the images to my storybook. So as you can see, my storybook is ready. I add the backgrounds and for my story. And I keep my little turtle as my main character. And it's ready. We can proceed to create our book into a flip book format. To create our flipbook format, we're going to go to share and on here we're just going to click in more. On here you can see we have a lot of sections, but we're just going to go in the design area. On here we're just going to click in design flipbooks and I'm just going to click on it and it's going to ask me if I'm going to make the 8 pages and I'm just going to make sure I'm, I'm clicking the 8 pages and I'm going to click in save. Now it's going to prepare my design and we have to wait a few seconds. Now it's ready. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go and click in view in Hyzen flipbooks. On here, we're going to wait that our flipbook is processed. Here we can already start to see our flipbook. And as you can see here, you can still make uh, some customizing. So we can make book, magazine, album. So we have all these options if you want to change them. So I'm just going to keep it as a book. And on here you can uh, turn off or on the sound of the pages. And on here you can leave it as adaptative or always double page or always only a single page. And there we go. So here you can see it's already like it's a complete um, book. And if you go here and you click there, then it's going to start to change and show our flipbook. I'm just going to click there and I don't know if you can hear but the sound is also very good. Now to share this flipbook we're just going to go to the share and it's going to give us the link of our flipbook. This flipbook is going to be only available for one week un unless that you register to keep it online for free. As you can see here it's for free. So we're just going to click on it, we're just going to copy and then we're just going to open it on here to see how our flipbook is going to look. And there we go. You can see it's a very high quality, so it's very nice. So you can see we already have the backgrounds that we create with the AI of Canva. This is the final result of our flipbook made it completely with Canva and ChatGPT. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.